Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser, version 93, is now rolling out. It started rolling out yesterday on the 2nd of September 2021, and I received my update this morning on the 3rd in my part of the world. Now, this also means we have moved on from version 92 to 93 in this latest stable release, and version 93 comes with a couple of uh, new features and also those all important uh, security patches and there are quite a few of those in this latest version to the browser now some of those key feature highlights are you now get tab groups uh, in the browser you can also hide the title bar in vertical tabs mode and if you are a mac user using edge over on mac os you can now easily enter picture in picture mode which is called pip for short if you are using the browser uh, over on mac now the first key highlight with version 93 is you now have access to tab groups in the browser and this gives you the ability to categorize tabs into into user defined groups so if we go to an open tab and we right click on it you will see a new entry called add tab to new group and if you click on that it takes us to another menu where you can name the group you can give it a color and there are some other handy options in that menu for the tab group and i'm going to call my tab group one as an example and i'm going to give it the color red and if i go to another open tab you'll see add tab to group and you can add it to a new group or you can add it to an existing group and you can do this to as many open tabs as you would like to add it to a certain group and you can create as many tab groups as you want now as well in the microsoft edge web browser and if you'd like to remove a tab from a group you just right click and go remove from group and that will just remove those open tabs from a group so i think that's a, a handy addition to edge version 93. now another highlight to the browser is if we go now to our tab actions menu and we turn on vertical tabs you will see now that the title bar has disappeared it has been removed in this latest update to the browser and I think this is a great addition to version 93 as it just gives you a lot more screen real estate, especially if you are using a device with a smaller display and screen. And it also just declutters things a little bit uh, in the browser. And this actually has a setting in the settings menu that you can toggle this on and off. And if we head up to our menu and go to settings, on the left, if we click on appearance, you will see you're now under customized toolbar you have hard title bar while in vertical tabs and this is on by default and if you would like to see the title bar in vertical tabs mode you just turn that off but as i say that is on by default to remove the title bar while in vertical tabs now and then if we just head over to our release notes for the microsoft edge stable channel here are some other key feature updates which i'll just go through quickly initial preferences in microsoft edge microsoft edge now supports a limited number of initial preferences IT admins can deploy these settings as default before the browser is run for the first time by their users. And you can click on this link to go find out more. And I will leave these release notes, uh, a link to it down below if you are interested to go check this out more in depth for yourself. And then Internet Explorer mode on Microsoft Edge will support no merge behavior. For an end user, when a new browser window is launched from an Internet Explorer mode application, it will be in a separate session similar to the no merge behavior in Internet Explorer 11. So if you use Internet Explorer mode in Edge, I think that is a great addition to the browser as well. And then you have some policy updates that are mentioned here. And I've mentioned tab groups. I've mentioned the uh, heart, the title bar while in vertical tabs. And then video picture in picture pip from hover toolbar. When you hover over a supported video, a toolbar will appear that allows you to view that video in a pip window. Please note this is currently available, as I mentioned earlier, for Microsoft Edge users on Mac OS only. And then removal of 3DES in TLS, and that's the changes happening in the Chromium project. And as many of you know, um, because of that, um, uh, because a Edge is a Chromium based web browser, uh, it is now the 3DES in TLS has now been removed from the browser as well. And then if we go look at those uh, all important stable channel security updates we just click here and it says here version 93 incorporates the latest security updates of the chromium project 
because as mentioned, Edge is based on the open source Chromium platform. And if we just head over to the security update uh, guard, there are numerous security fixes to Edge version 93 from the Chromium project. And there's quite a couple of them if we scroll down here. As you can see, all the security updates. And these are all important security updates. So if you um, don't, you know, you're not interested in new features per se, then you should check your up to date just to get the latest uh, security updates to the Edge browser just to keep you, you know, your online browsing experience a lot safer and secure. And then, as always, if you'd like to see if you have the latest version, we just head back to our, our menu in the top right, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And if it doesn't do so in the background, this will update you to the latest version, which is 93.0.961.38. So that's the version you need now to get those new features and all those all important security updates to the Microsoft Edge web browser. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.